Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz clicked her yield three times and wished to be home. And if you click your yield three times and have 5,950,000 rand, this five bathroom, four bedroom house in Bryanston could be yours. So come with me and let me take you for a tour around this beautiful home and show you exactly why this should be your next one. Coming through these double frosted glass doors, you'll find yourself in the double volume entry hall. Now this entry hall is characterized with a lot of wrought iron and it gives such a nice country touch to this home. Now the wrought iron is above me in the chandelier as well as all the way up this staircase with the railing. So right off your entry hall, you'll find yourself within your dining room area as well as your kitchen. But before we go into any of that, this right here, this is where Harry Potter lives. We don't want to wake him up now because he's sleeping, but what you can expect behind this door is an extra large pantry with plenty of space for any of the scanned goods you don't want to store in your scullery. Now, let's take a look at the dining room area. So now we walk directly into the dining room area. As you can see, there's plenty of space here. There's even wiring behind me if you want to hook up a nice TV with something to watch while you're eating your snacks. But what I like about this dining room area is the window. You've got a window looking out to your garden. You've also got a window looking out to your patio and it brings in a lot of light, but also a lot of color from the garden and the pool. But what I like even more about that is how this kitchen has been set up. Now, how beautiful is the lighting in this kitchen? So there's down lighting right above this oval breakfast nook, which is really, really big for houses this size. But there's also lighting in your display cabinets, underneath your cabinets, and around different areas of the ceiling. And it makes this kitchen feel so fancy, so classy, I love it. Another thing that's very, very nice about this kitchen is we've got a huge Siemens stove built in, we've got a Siemens cooktop, we've also got two Siemens appliances right next to the space for a double door fridge. Now those Siemens appliances are microwave as well as another oven. Right over here, you've got your in-built garbage disposal, don't need to worry about it. A sink here for food prep and just to my right there is a scullery with plenty of undercounter storage, a double sink as well as cupboards galore. If you're a chef, this kitchen is for you. You will love every moment within this area. And just off behind the kitchen, you'll find yourself in the scullery. Now, the scullery is very well utilized when it comes to space. You've got under counter storage for all your appliances, plenty of cupboard storage, as well as a double sink behind me for anything there that you'd like to be kept out of your guests' eyes. If you're a chef, if you're an entertainer, if you love cooking, this kitchen is the one for you. So your garage has got space for two cars. It's got an exit to the back of the household, as well as an entrance into your scullery, which then leads into your kitchen. Now your garage has got remote controls, as well as all the access to your DB boards and is electrically controlled as well. Now, from the right of your entry hall, we find ourselves in a room that can be used either as another dining room area, maybe a formal dining room area, or a living room area. Now, we've got a wood burning fireplace right here, really, really nice. But my favorite in this room is this window right ahead of me. We've got such a beautiful view of the garden. The roses there look incredible. There's also a window behind me giving you a view of your patio area. Now, this room, the sky is the limit to your imagination. And there is another room that I'm going to show you where the sky is the limit when it comes to what you'd like to put there. So follow me and let me show you what it is. So now we come to the final room downstairs. Now this room can either be used as a bedroom because there is a bathroom just outside and we're going to show you that in a bit. It can also be used as a lounge area or again as a dining room area. You've got a window here overlooking your driveway. Plenty of light within this whole house, which is very rare, specifically when we come to Bryanston. So I love the natural light here. All of the rooms downstairs have got dimmers on their lights in the ceiling, as well as underfloor heating. So on those cold winter nights, you're going to keep your tootsies 
very nice and toasty. So your downstairs bathroom can be dedicated either as a guest bathroom or a guest bathroom for your guest room that we just toured. Now the bathroom downstairs has got a vanity with under counter storage, a toilet placed in the corner, window access to your driveway and a walk-in shower, which makes it perfect to use as a guest toilet if you do dedicate that downstairs room as a guest room. Now coming up the stairs, you'll see behind me the floor to ceiling frosted glass windows with those really dramatic extra length curtains. It is so cool to look at, it's so different. But, whew, I'm a little bit unfit. But here we find ourselves on the upstairs landing and just to my left here is a pajama lounge that is perfect for overlooking your garden area. You can sit out on the balcony at any time and survey your beautiful green garden as well as that pool. Now this pajama lounge or whatever you'd like to customize it as has got inbuilt cupboards on the right hand side as well as fittings for all your electronics if you want to put a TV up. So upstairs you'll find the first bedroom. Each of the bedrooms upstairs, all three of them, have got carpets. They've also got plenty of inbuilt storage as well as their own in-suite bathrooms. Now this bedroom in specifically overlooks the garden giving you a beautiful view of that blue pool on sunny days. The bathroom has got a walk-in shower, vanity with plenty of undercounter storage as well as its own bath. Something very unique about all of the in-suite bathrooms is that each of them comes with their own bath as well as shower. Bedroom number two is a little bit bigger than bedroom number one. It comes with its own balcony overlooking your driveway. Plenty of greenery for you to enjoy in the morning sipping your cup of coffee. This bedroom also has a small walk-in closet which is quite a nice touch for a second bedroom located upstairs. And then obviously you've got your ensuite bathroom. The bathroom comes with your shower, its own bath, vanity, under counter storage, the underfloor heating which I'm in love with as you know because I've mentioned it so many times. Again also upstairs all of the lights in the bedrooms have their own dimmer. And last but not least upstairs is this master bedroom. Now this master bedroom is plenty of space here, plenty of plug points which is actually such a nice feature, such a nice touch within bedrooms upstairs. Another nice touch upstairs is the security system. Now this is piped in directly to the master bedroom so you know everything is safe, everything is under watch, you've always got an eye on things. Now another thing about this master bedroom that I really like is the bathroom. The bathroom upstairs is absolutely phenomenal but before we talk about that we can talk about this window again because the view over this garden, I absolutely love it. It's so green, it's so lush. Gardens in Bryanston definitely don't always look like this, so scoop it up while you can. But let's go take a look at that master bathroom. So what kind of master bedroom would this be without a walk-in closet? Plenty of cupboard space, but enough faffing around. Let me show you the creme de la creme, and that is this bathroom. Let's go. Now here we are within absolute luxury. When have you ever seen a bathroom look this good? Right over here, we've got a fully enclosed shower, and the reason that is, is this right here is a steam shower. So you can get in here after a long day at work, a hard day at the gym and just relax in steamy goodness. I'm very, very jealous. I need one of these in my house. We've got a double vanity, got an extra large mirror and right over here we've got a bathtub that you don't often see. This here has got about seven different pulsating heads. We've got a bunch of bubbles. This is ultimate relaxation in a bathroom. That's all about ultimate luxury. Tell me you wouldn't want one of these. There is an inbuilt bidet, but then we've also got the toilet and huge mirrors and windows looking out over the garden. So we started this episode, I told you this is a five bathroom, four bedroom house in Bryanston. and you're probably wondering, Chad, where is the other bedroom and bathroom? And where you'll find that is located just above the garage in its own enclosed cottage. Now this cottage has its very own kitchen with an oven as well as cooktop and double sink with plenty of storage in that kitchen area. It has got its very own balcony in the living room area, place for your TV, for all of your electronics and 
another bedroom that has got a door. And how often do you find that in cottages of this size, specifically within these properties? So your bedroom right here has got its own inbuilt cupboards. And then in the bathroom, you've got a walk-in shower and your very own bath, as well as a vanity and under counter storage there. All the windows overlook the driveway, plenty of greenery for you to enjoy. And who doesn't want their own second story balcony in their cottage? So coming out of the house, you'll find yourself on your patio, plenty of space here for you to enjoy some meals outside. And here we are within this beautiful garden, luscious, green, massive pool here for you to enjoy. And also there is a fire pit just down there for you to roast some marshmallows on those cold winter evenings. But that is all we have for you today. So if you like this property as much as I do, and you wanna find yourself in that steam shower, contact Charlene Negus from First Realty. She'll be able to schedule a viewing whenever you'd like. But from myself, Chad Rivera, the team at Private Property, and this episode of The Home Shopper Show, we're gonna see you next time. Goodbye.